What we would like to do is we would like to introduce you today to our iBot One, our collaborative robot to the new welding system. And I would like to show you also a little bit or to answer the question to you a little bit. Why does Abicor Binzel come up with a new welding cobot while there are so many out in the market? Our target is to serve the welder, the guy or the girl who is outside in the field and welding and not to serve the people who are let's say the programmers. If I may ask you, you're very deep into manual welding? Yes, I'm actually like a welding supervisor for a welding shop and yeah. uh, that's my main work. Okay, perfect. When we talk about the welder in the market or in the out there in the, uh, in the fab shop, the first thing he does in the morning is like maybe have a cigarette or a coffee. Then he goes to the power source, runs the power source, takes a manual torch and starts welding. Yes, correct. It's, uh, the regular, regular way. <laughs> and what we would like to trans uh, transfer to, to the uh, welder is to give him the feeling that he does not work with a high complexity tool or with a high complexity product. It's more or less like using a tool like he's used to today. When we then have a look to our iBot One, mm -hmm. we already said we want to work with the welder. Therefore, we thought the interface to the robot has to be so easy that at first it's like setting up the power source and second the welder is able to just leave the tablet away and not using the tablet while he's teaching. So he gets the feeling again that he's using a tool. If I may show it to you, if you have a look here you see on one side we have a lot of programs already here and these are all the programs that are already programmed. On the other side you see currently an empty pocket that means this is our work order. Whatever program we choose, we just activate the checkbox and hit add to work order. Means it's self-explaining uh, and everybody could understand what's happening. So it transfers our program from one side to the other. If you could imagine now, if we would press start, all the programs in our work order will be run off one by the other. Okay, and the single program actually for the different parts or, or different shapes from the material? Correct. Like you, uh, I see already. Correct, you can choose uh, how you want to teach your program. So we have an example part here. You could, for example, teach one weld for one program or you can teach the whole part in one program. If you decide to teach one weld per program, you can also select how you want to weld. So at first you can start with a fillet weld, then you go around with a circle or you can do it the other way around. That's then up to you. For now, we delete it again because I would like to show you how easy it is to teach it. And to be honest with you, my target, after five minutes of explanation, I think you would be able to teach our robot on your own. Okay, let's go. The next button is add product. Again, it's explaining on its own. We add a product and we use now any name. Whatever we choose, we close it. We have a little bit more options to fill, but we don't necessarily need them. If we talk about a small fab shop, they have very often part variances. Sometimes parts come back again, so a production like of 10-15 parts comes back, sometimes not. So they can choose if they want to enter a customer name, a product name or whatever. You don't have to, so you're fast again, you click next and you select your torch. All the torches are pre-entered already, so it means you as a user don't have to think about how can I enter the torch, how do I measure it, whatever. It's already inside, so it's actually proven and known Abicorp in the quality of torches. And I think that's the best fit for our product. Our next topic, we see what the welder is actually doing in the morning when he starts with manual welding. He chooses the parameter, the weld process, he knows which gas he's using and which wire he's welding and he enters here now, even with a slider or manually here, click in the pocket and enter the travel speed for the robot. You choose your, your amps again okay. with the slider. The tablet is connected to the welding machine. You can program everything what's actually in the welder. You can program the tablet and then you can s save the file for next time or another job. Currently you don't save, save the file for another job, you save the file for your for program. Mm -hmm. But uh, as you already figured out, there are so many topics. What will come up in the future that we decided that we will come out with a zero release software now, as it is today, and we will develop with you in the market the best way to proceed. So for example, if we figure out with you that it's the best way to have jobs saved here and don't use a power source, Mm -hmm. This will be the way we go. But we still can program jobs in the power source and just pick the job here in our interface. It's still possible. If we go to the next slide, we see already we have an interaction here with the robot. It says press Z to switch on zero G. What we can do from here, from this point is 
you can leave the tablet away. This is now the work the welder does. Usually he's working with the tool and not with a complex product. He's opening the axis because currently everything is rigid, the axes are locked. Pressing one button, the axes are open. You see that the robot is still in position, but I can already move it very easy with one hand. We have developed our EZT channel. As you see, we have three buttons, M, S and Z. Mode switch, save a point and zero G. This button, zero G, releases the axis a little bit softer. It means I can very easy move it now with one hand. Everything starts at home, also you in the morning, also our robot, we press save a point for the home position. Now we see our LED ring is illuminated and if we press M for mode switch, we see different colors. If we have once more a look to our tablet, you see the colors here are changing according to the LED ring. It means everything is matching and we see what we are doing. Now we teach a waypoint, so it means we choose any point anywhere in the, in the air to move our robot from the home position to the best spot of starting. We press save, switch over from our waypoint to the first world point, we teach a second world point, move away with the waypoint, we close the axis again, so now everything is rigid. We press save, go to our production list, choose our program, add to work order. Then we flip over our key from teach mode to automatic mode. We can press start and then the robot should start moving. Okay. This is how easy I can teach a fillet world. Okay. And now, what do you think? Would you like to try it on your own? Sure. And you're over the tablet. Delete I would the... I would start with deleting the product from our work order. This there it is. is. Correct. And now you can just start with adding a product. Add product. Get product name. Triple A. I will call it. Close. Next, because we don't need the other stuff, we select the torch. Actually, it was the second one, I guess. It was the 22 degrees, correct? Yeah. W500. That's uh, like the angle from the, yeah, yeah, the torch. Correct. Process, it's regular welding, like a standard. As we're not welding today, so you can just choose everything. Anything. Choose it, yeah, correct. So gas, next 20 CO2, materials steel or steel fill, we said. Wire diameters 1.2, next. Yeah. So, now I will choose like the starting point. Great. I would start with releasing the button, so you're on the other side, so you could not see it, but you can feel that yep. one button is a little bit more outside than the other. Correct. And now the axes are released and you can move the robot if you want. Okay. Well, okay. And correct. Start with the home, home position. I'll take this a little bit away. Uh, save point. Ah, save point. This one here. Yeah. Mode switch. Mode. Now you can move the robot to your next position. I would recommend to think about the movement when the robot moves from one point to the other. Ah, to, He's moving really, collapses or really straight. So I would use okay. something like this. This one here, yeah. yeah. Then the mode switch. Save a point. Oh, save a point. Then the mode switch. You can, however you want to, you can first position the torch or you can first use the mode switch. Mode switch, correct. Now it's your first welding point. Mm -hmm. Save the point. Save point. Correct. Okay. Uh, you need to enter the second, correct. This one here. Yeah. Save point. Yeah. Mode switch. Mode switch. And then I have to... Because now you're in a recorded path. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, I didn't explain it before, but the recorded path is something that where you can move the robot with your hand. Okay, and then it the records the movement. Records your movement and covers exactly what you did. Okay, good. Then I just, uh, now I have to, will record the movement, what I'm doing. If you want to, or you can use again uh, the mode switch to the waypoint and just teach another waypoint anywhere yes. outside of the product. Straight up. Yeah, save the point. Save the point. Lock the axis again. That's the second button here. This one here? Yeah. Okay. And that's it. And that's it. Okay. Now you can save your program. Then we save the program to produ product list, Correct. production list. Activate the checkbox, add it to the work order. Add to work. I flip the key switch, press start, and let's see what you did. This would be your fillet world with a robot. 
How often did you teach robots in the past? It's actually my first time. Like, um, you know, I saw it a lot of time and um, I thought I could imagine how it will work, but the, it is actually very really easy. Like, um, if you do it like once or twice, you know, it should be work like for, for all the shapes and all for the yeah. welding. Okay. We're actually doing a day. I think that's uh, the future, actually. And if you think about if you, you're a supervisor now, if I would hand over the robot to you and to your colleagues, do you think that we could weld with your colleagues already your production after first in production? Oh yeah, I, I, I guess so. You know, like it is in, in the field, sometimes you need like a special education for some something. I would say totally that uh, this one would probably get into the work and you know, in the noontime everybody wants to work with that. That's yeah. what I think. And especially with the torch, with the fuel suction torch, that's uh, also like a common thing. People or some of the welder don't like it because of the weight, yeah. but here, you know, it's totally in, in, included in the robot. I really like it and uh, thanks for the, uh, for, the, for the little show to show me how great, great this one is working. Thank you very much for your interest. Next time we're welding. Perfect. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks.